up here on the board we have a sequence of numbers of 43, 31, 19, and 7. But notice after this comma we have dot, 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 meaning there's more numbers after it. And so if we were going to continue this string of numbers, then we are going to have to figure out what the pattern here is with these numbers. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this second term right here, and we're going to do the second term minus the first term. So the second term is 31 minus the first term, which is 43, which gives us negative 12. Now, if we were to continue that and do the third term minus the second term, then we get 19 minus 31, which again gets us negative 12. So we're realizing here that each successive number is 12 less than the one before it. So by looking at this, we can come up with an equation to represent this. And so this is the equation we've come up with. And because right here we start with 43, which is the first term we have. So we have n right here. And so this represents how many numbers you are into the sequence. So say we're the first number into the sequence. It would be 1 minus 1 equals 0 times negative 12 is 0. So we get 43. If this was the, the second term into the sequence, we'd have a 2 right here. So 2 minus 1 is 1 times negative 12 is negative 12 plus 43 is 31. So you can see how this equation works. But I'm going to quickly simplify this for us to make it easier. And so the way this was simplified is we just multiplied negative 12 times n and by negative 1 and then added some numbers together. And so we got that right there, the simplified equation. So we're going to take this simplified equation right here and we can use this to determine what numbers are going to come later in this sequence. So say so we want to know what the eighth number in the sequence is. All we have to do is plug in 8 for n right there. So we take negative 12, we multiply it by 8 in parentheses plus 55. And so negative 12 times 8 equals negative 96 plus 55. And so I'll save you the math on that, but that equals negative 41. So the eighth term in the sequence is going to be 81. And you can do that for whatever number you want to put in for n. If you wanted to find the 72nd number in the sequence, you could do that. You could plug it in. Or maybe you just want to find the fifth number in the sequence. You could plug that in. And so you can see how you can take this sequence. You have to discover the pattern. Then you come in up with an equation, and it's going to work for whatever number you want to plug in to n.